Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK, this number 124. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm the Prisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Gayatri Mantra has been mentioned in which of the following Vedas? The correct answer is the Rig Veda. Gayatri Mantra comes from the third mandala of the Rig Veda. This mandala has 62 hymns, mainly to Agni and Indra. It is one of the family books, the oldest core of Rig Veda. This mandala also mentions Kikats, a non-Aryan tribe, which most scholars agree that was the resident of somewhere in near Magadha in modern-day Bihar. Which among the following Veda has been described as Brahm Veda? The correct answer is Atharva Veda. The Atharva Veda or knowledge storehouse of Atharvans the procedures of everyday life is the text which is the fourth Veda but has been a late addition to the Vedic scriptures of Hinduism. The Atharva Veda is also occasionally referred as Bhagavangirash or Brahma Veda after Bhigu and Brahma respectively. Which among the following system in the Vedic age has provided for a marriage of a childless widow with the brother of blood relation of a diseased husband for the sake of progeny? The correct answer is Niyog. An example of this practice can be found in the epic Mahabharat where uh, Ved Vyasa blesses the Kuru dynasty with heirs in death of King Vichitravarya. Earth, water, fire, air and ether or sky, these are panchatattvas or five elements and when they combine, they give rise to new objects. This is a principle of which of the Vedic philosophies? The correct answer is Vaisheshika. Vaisheshika is one of the six orthodox schools of ancient India. Vaisheshika school is known for its insights in naturalism. According to the school, knowledge and liberation were achieved by a complete understanding of the world of experience. Which among the following Mahajanpada was located on the junction of two famous ancient Indian trade routes, Uttarpath and Dakshinpath? The correct answer is Surasena. The kingdom of Surasena was an ancient Indian region corresponding to the present-day Braj region in Uttar Pradesh with Mathura at, as its capital city. According to the Buddhist text, Anguttara Nikhaya, Surasena was one of the Solasa or 16 Mahajanpadas in the 6th century BC. In which of the following modern state, most of the 24th Tithankars of Jainism attained Nirvana? The correct answer is Bihar. Jainism in Bihar trace a long history since the times of 24th Tithankara Mahavira, who was born in Vaishali. Vasupujya, the 12th Jain Tithankara, was born in Champapur, Bhagalpur. Vardhamana Mahavira, the 24th and the last Tithankara of Jainism, was born in Vaishali around 6th century BC. Which among the following is true about Buddha? The correct answer is that he neither accepted nor rejected the existence of God. After Siddharth Gautam became Buddha at the age of 35, having gained enlightenment, he began traveling throughout India and Nepal, teaching the steps that he took to reach a state of pure nirvana. It is said that while lecturing both loyal disciples and unacquainted seekers, Buddha made a point to dismiss the notion of a higher power. It is certain that he wasn't interested in discussing the idea of a god as he believed that it had no particular purpose for reaching the sought-after state of enlightenment. King Prasenjit was a contemporary and friend of Lord Buddha. He was the king of Kosal. He was the ruler of Kosal. Savatthi was his capital. He succeeded his father, Sanjay Mahakosala. He was a prominent follower of Gautam Buddha who built many Buddhist monasteries. In which of the following works is the conspiracy hatched by Pushyamitra Shunga to eliminate the last Mauryan king Brihadratha mentioned? The correct answer is Harsha Charitra of Banabhatta. 
So Brihadratha Maurya was killed in 180 BCE and the power was usurped by his general Pushyamitra Shunga who then took over the throne and established the Shunga Empire. Pushyamitra killed the former emperor in front of his military and established himself as the new ruler. Which among the following was main item of revenue during Maurya period? The correct answer is Bhaga. During Maurya period, land revenues from the rural areas were appropriated in the form of crown lands or Sita, land revenue or Bhaga from cultivators, taxes on orchards, ferry charges, etc. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.